To JV coach Dylan Collier, the game of soccer is about more than winning. It's all about building the family, building the team, and you know, truly just building their character as a high school student. What happened March 2nd, 2021 proves that. On this practice, the first in about a month, the team was warming up on the baseball field, including 17-year-old Pablo Hordal. Coach showed us to run two laps around the field. And the uh, first lap, I felt perfectly fine. And halfway through the second lap, very moderate pace. Uh, I got really tired um, and I had to start walking. And then I got really lightheaded as soon as I started walking and I had to put my hands on my knees. And somebody told me, Coach, you have a player down. That player was Pablo and he wasn't breathing. I just kind of, I acted at that point. It was all muscle memory from my training. Collier I, started you know. doing chest compressions. One of his players called 911, another got in touch with Pablo's mom, Laura, and the others ran to get athletic trainer, Katie Haynes Romano, and HPU athletic training student, Jonathan Fryer. So I think from here, I started running and was met by a varsity player who said, you should hurry, he's not breathing. Which is when I turned back to Jonathan and said, grab my phone in the AED and just kept going. AED stands for Automatic External Defibrillator. They're used to revive someone from sudden cardiac arrest. Each middle and high school in the Winston-Salem Forsyth County school system has them. We got the pads put on him, let it analyze his rhythm. It advised a shock, so we delivered the shock. Um, and then I immediately started back into compressions. I, about halfway through the compressions, I heard sirens, and I've never been more happy to hear sirens in my entire life. EMS took over, and Pablo came too. And then the next thing I remember is a guy, me on the floor, shirtless, with a medical kit around me, and a guy to my right telling me that, uh, that I scared them because my heart stopped. They put the 12 lead EKG on him, had him speaking before they put him on the gurney. So it was a, a miraculous thing to watch from where we started to where we finished. Well, I work in education and I know we have all these systems, but then you think, oh, you'll never use that or whatever, but they had a great system and the system worked. So um, yeah, I mean, incredibly grateful, grateful to his teammates, to everyone involved that day. Pablo spent seven days at Brenner Children's Hospital undergoing testing and monitoring with his parents at his side. While they still don't know definitively what caused Pablo's heart to stop, they're grateful for the training, the AED, and the people who got it going again. I don't think it was caused really by me exercising too hard, so it really could happen anywhere. It just happened to be at the exact right place at the right time, surrounded by the right people.